So here is my post uh, replay analysis. I uh, started. Uh, I did some commentary for Forza Horizon, but I never played Forza Horizon. I always felt like there isn't really all that much I could tell. Part of it was that I have a lot more experience playing sim races rather than arcade races, which are the mix. Of course, the modern standards uh, like uh, games like Picars, uh, iRacing, etc. Of course, uh, even for the Motorsports 4, it probably be called arcade. But nonetheless, uh, I started recording these videos but then realize that I actually understand a lot about how this physics works. Obviously not to the extent that probably people who have championships from Ford Motorsport for, or, you know, world uh, leaderboards, world record holders, I'm not as good as them. But I still felt that you know, a lot of my skills for my racing do translate into this game, so I can uh, provide some ideas of how to after every uh, race and um, yeah pause I'm still not entirely put on controls I need to bring up telemetry because telemetry is okay okay game cameras I don't remember how to change them already. Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. So, first of all, the start. Uh, the car. The car is an old car that's pretty slow. Uh, it only has four speeds in this gearbox. And I feel that if you were gonna to uh, make a setup, for this car you would start with gears because the gears are very weird you have to constantly shift uh, second and third of the corners so it's really weird um, anyway the start uh, on the start what you need to do is uh, stay all right let's, let's just start first of all gears first gear it go up it goes up to the red line then drops down, then goes up to the red line again. If you switch to second the first time it hits uh, the red line, you will be extremely under revved in second gear. So uh, the key to successful gateway here is obviously to wait, let it drop, let the needle drop down once, and then come back up, and then you switch to second. Second of all, actually, this is pretty poor here. I go right. Um, don't go right on this track uh, because if you go right on this track this you need to turn in this car is completely missing the apex you need to turn in and this car is there of course it's not going to stop you I'm just going to drive through it but if you want to drive clean uh, all you need to do all you need to do is you can go left here yeah, so just go left uh, behind the blue car and you're fine. Alright, so a few, uh, the first few laps here are a bit messy. So I want to skip forward to the next apply some brakes I actually did not apply 100% of the brakes but oh I can rewind with the brakes and gas pedal yeah here I did not I did not apply 100% of the brake pedal because my um, controller input for Xbox is rather poor it doesn't even have force feedback it's uh, 
I guess it's, it just doesn't have the full range that the pedal allows. Like I can go, th the pedal travels far, relatively far, but appar apparently it doesn't uh, register all the way through. So it's a bit on and off. Anyway, so yeah, here you don't even have to uh, adapt the brakes. I adapt the brakes because I messed up uh, the entrance a little bit, but you can uh, lift and uh, turn right. Here you try to go on the left side. I was a bit too much to the right, it's a bit laziness. Uh, obviously you want uh, your corner angle B is... Uh, What's the opposite of acute angle? You want it to be that. Basically, you want to go in as wide as possible. So you you want to use it. You know, you, I'm sure you heard, use all the track. So you want to go left, then you want to hit the apex, uh, and you want to go right. So I, I slow down here significantly, and I slow down here significantly is because if you're gonna take it at high speed, you're gonna wash out to the left, and uh, washing out to the left will uh, compromise the next corner. And I prefer this corner. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure which which is a better way. Here we go for a bit of a drift. You will lift off, uh, get some lift of power steer going. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually in this game. It feels like it is in this game. Okay. And uh, here I actually drifted uh, because of my speed was fairly low. I drifted to a good location, uh, left side of the track, then drift to the right. Uh, I'm not sure again. Uh, this is a section of a corner. It's like, like in Suzuki or whatever. Each previous corner influences how you're gonna take the next corner, and it's up to debate which way is actually the best. Uh, here as well. Uh, I at first I was breaking here, but then I realized you don't really need to break here. Uh, braking might, you know, lock the front wheels, uh, and even if it doesn't like lock them, which it braking always reduces your turning ability. So if you could just lift here, and the cent centrifugal uh, forces wash you out to the left. But this corner, I'm not very sure actually. I remember uh, in my some of my races on this track, I actually managed to take this corner and this car flat out, not flat out. Um, without breaking the lift, the lift and turn. But here, I fail. I, I try it, I fail, so I have to break here, so I don't want to. This is very important. Uh, section of gear shifts. Oh crap, did only that pass. could say that my it also this corner will also be defined by the sort of like how you enter and uh, exit the previous corner but I'm lazy I don't, I don't try to go to the right and uh, make a better uh, line this corner also lift off is fine to break here here actually lift off is also fine but a bit tricky because I feel that see see how much space there is on the right side I think that's the problem I think if you go in sort of wider you can go here flat out but I have to <coughs> flat out also should be flat out This is a bit tricky, also don't not tell sure how to take this corner. So what is full lines here? What is that line of telemetry? 
the second it's the orange one what does it do I don't know okay, I need to learn about this so yeah here I prefer to break the Fosa corner like sort of a little bit into the corner, the corner is pretty tight. I prefer to go into it uh, and uh, you sort of go into it very tight. Well, not like this, I, I sort of took too much speed into it. But then you go like flat out here. So I'd like to, to basically slower it, enter fast like that. But now I'm thinking that this is actually a mistake the way I was taking this corner. I think the corner is sort of the one corner which you enter wide and exit tight. So I think I should have been going more left here, not aiming for this part of the apex. Sort of like, this is like double apex corner. Almost. So yeah, I think I should have here, I should have went a bit straight on to the left. So it's like a wide entrance. And then go and uh, instead of here I go in tight and sort of wash out, go on wider and then exit tight and uh, go flat out and win. Uh, so yeah, that's it. This is not my best track though, so uh, there are obviously certain things I probably said wrong, but uh, thanks for watching, I hope to someone has been some help, uh, I know this is an old game, but I, there I, I've spent so much time playing StarCraft and Grey Goo that I'm way behind on the games I still got. Anyway, uh, moving on, on to the North Sleeve.